Do you know that? Today we are celebrating a great feast in our Holy Catholic Church. Anyone can say that? Today what are we celebrating? It is something related to the Sabbath. Immaculate conception of the Sabbath. Okay. So what do you mean by immaculate conception? Any idea? The word immaculate, what do you mean by that? Immaculate. God is with you. God is with you. No. Immaculate. You have not heard that word? Immaculate is purity. Pure. So, Blessed Mother is pure and she is perfect. You will receive the baptism, right? The sacrament of baptism. So, when we receive the sacrament of baptism, what happens? Did you talk Christians? Very good answer. Another one? Very good. Get rid of original sin. We are cleansed from original sin. And what is original sin? First sin. Done by Adam and Eve. Good answer. So, so the first sin, original sin, the sin committed by Adam and Eve. What was that sin? They disobeyed God. So through their disobedience, sin came to the world. And because of their original sin, we are all participating in that original sin. In order to cleanse from that original sin, we have to receive the sacrament of baptism. And the Blessed Mother, Blessed Mary, who is that? Mother of Jesus, very good. So, God has chosen Mary as the mother of God. So, he decided Mary should be born without original sin. She should not be like us. So, that is what we are celebrating today. It is the great doctrine which Holy Catholic Church is celebrating today. Mary is born without original sin. Mary is immaculate. Today we celebrate immaculate conception of Blessed Mom. And it is very apt that today we celebrate immaculate conception of Mary because this season is Advent season, right? We are preparing for Christmas. So, when we prepare for Christmas, and you know, Christmas is also a feast of lights. You see everywhere a lot of lights, right? A lot of illuminations. You have also decorated your house with the Christmas tree and the lights. And, uh, you know, what happens when the light comes? Okay. Imagine if there is no light, what is there? Darkness. Darkness. So, in order to get rid of darkness, we need the light, right? So, and light is the symbol of Jesus Christ. And when Jesus Christ comes to our life, the darkness disappears. We are in darkness in one way or other. We have the spiritual darkness. When we sin against God, when we sin against our brothers and sisters, we are in darkness. So we need light. We need purification. That is what in today's Gospel, St. John, St. John the Baptist tells Repent. Repent 
means purify yourself. So we have to purify ourselves with a good confession, reconcile one another. So we should, we need that. Another thing I want to tell you, we have four candles here. Do you know what is the symbol of these candles here? And of course, last week we were, we lit the first candle. What is the symbol of the first candle? You know? What is the symbol of the first candle? Chris. Hope. Very good. So the first candle is the symbol of hope. And the second one. The second one. The second one is the symbol of into our life. 